This video is loosely about tropical trees, and I'm going to cover the terms temperate, buttress root, and aerial root. I'm calling it loose because this is how the study guide has it organized, and I don't work a lot with tropical trees, so I don't have direct experience with them. Let's first discuss tropical and temperate. These are words that are used to describe the climate, which is the long-term weather patterns in a given area. There's a classification system for climate that includes five main groups, which are tropical, dry, temperate, continental, and polar. So for the purposes of this video, we're just focusing on tropical and temperate. In general, a temperate climate has an average annual temperature above 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius in the warmest months and you'll be above 27 Fahrenheit or 3 degrees Celsius in the coldest month. There's usually four seasons with very different temperatures between the winter and the summer. Most people live in temperate zones. In contrast, in tropical climates, the average monthly temperature is above 64 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius and there's significant rainfall. You'll have temperatures and humidity that's high year-round. Since tropical climates are also usually found around the equator, the sunlight is really intense. Instead of having the four seasons, you're gonna primarily have a wet and a dry season. Of course, when you have such a difference in growing environment, the vegetation is going to differ too. So according to the study guide, here are some of the differences that tropical trees have. There is much greater diversity in the anatomy and physiology of tropical trees. And since the seasons are roughly similar and the trees are actively growing year round, you're not going to find very distinct growth rings. And they are more likely to have buttress roots and aerial roots. I'm going to have a guest arborist walk you through buttress roots and aerial roots since she was kind enough to get this footage for me. Some trees that grow in tropical areas have an ability to produce aerial root systems such as this New Zealand Christmas tree and the aerial roots come down directly out of the limbs and branches of the tree they grow in these big masses, big clumps of roots. And the aerial roots typically only grow in moist climates. Um, but in drier climates, the aerial roots are often pruned off the tree by the dry air. The aerial roots can be useful to the tree in densely packed tropical forests. It can allow them to access more resources in the soil. When these roots touch down to the soil, they can actually root in the ground so they can access more resources that way. They can also send their branches out further and the aerial roots will touch down to the ground and become like new trunks for the tree and act almost like prop supports. This ficus macrophylla also has another adaptation of tropical trees, which is its buttress root system. All trees have a root crown where the roots flare out from the trunk, but a buttress root system is an adaptive feature that many tropical trees have in dense rainforests, there's less space for trees, for their roots and their canopies. So the trees grow very tall trunks and canopies to reach up high where there's space and sunlight available. And in order to support such a high canopy, the trees need really super reinforced root systems. And there's another advantage to buttress roots which is that in rainforest environments where there's frequent, almost constant rain, soils 
may be nutrient poor or they may be waterlogged. So root systems may need to be shallower in the soil, sometimes on top of the soil. So buttress root systems allow trees to develop a very shallow root system that can more easily access nutrients and oxygen in those waterlogged soils while also reinforcing the tree and supporting its canopy. So does this matter if you're not an arborist in a tropical area? It's helpful to know where plants are native to because it helps you diagnose problems and plant care needs. This plant is from a tropical region. I've got it growing outside in dry air. You can see that it's definitely suffering with these margins and this curling. So knowing that it's from a tropical area, what I could do is keep it inside. I could even build a greenhouse and increase the temperature and the moisture that it needs so it doesn't have issues like this. On the flip side, you may have difficulties growing a temperate plant in a tropical region. And you can see when there's humid conditions, it develops powdery mildew. Deciduous trees like this Japanese maple need certain environmental conditions to trigger the leaf drop that happens every fall. Typically, that's a shorter day length um, where it gets darker sooner and cold temperatures. So if you're not able to get either of those things in a tropical climate, you may have a tree that struggles because it's not able to complete that part of its annual life cycle. And the last note about the buttress roots or the aerial roots, it's good to know that these features do exist because when you see them, you're going to know that they're a feature and not a problem.